Hi, this is Newton from New Horizons. Today we're going to look at the sum ifs function. I have a list of salespeople and their sales of different products. The sum ifs function would allow me to actually sum um, their sales and find out how much Betsy sold in terms of lip, lip gloss. And I can do that using this sum ifs function. And what we're going to do first is we're going to look at how we can name the ranges to make it easier for us to create the formula. So how do we do, how do we name all these columns? What we can do is we can actually create names which will allow us, which will prevent us from having to scroll down and select different ranges. And to do that I'm just going to select the whole range by pressing Control and A. Because there are no blank rows or columns in this data, it selected the whole data set as we can see. Now to actually name them I have to be on the formulas ribbon. It will, yeah. And what I can do to name these columns or to use the column names, I can create names from a selection, from what I've selected. And if I click on create from selection, it will allow me to use create names from values in the top row. So trans number, name, date, product, units, and dollars will all become named ranges. And if I click on OK, those names have been created. How do I know? Well, if I click on here, and I go to dollars, everything in the dollars is selected. And that's going to help me magnificently because all I'll need to do when I want to use dollars in my formula is type in the word dollars and it will refer to this whole range. If I go to name, it will select the name, whole of the name range. Name range. The whole 1900 rows. Excluding the um, column names, obviously. Yeah? Now, how do I create the sum is function? Well, I'm gonna. It requires a sum range and a criteria range. How do I do that? I'm gonna go to the function wizard. There's two places I can go to it. There's insert function here and FX here. I'll go to insert function here, and I, I've made sure I'm in the cell, and it's putting an equal sign for me already. And I could have searched for it, but it's in that list. But I'll search for it. sum ifs. Got to be careful because there is a sum if function as well. Sum if only allows us to do one criteria, whereas sum ifs allows us to do multiple criteria. And the most the important thing about the sum ifs function is what we are summing we have to put in first. So dollars is what we're going to be summing. So we're just going to put in dollars here. We're going to type in the word dollars. And that will select the whole dollars range. There we go. And we noticed it's done it. The criteria range one is name I want you to look in a name column, name, and find Betsy. And I could actually type Betsy in here, but I've make, got to make sure Betsy's accurate, of course. And as you can see, it's found Betsy so far, right? And that's actually telling me Betsy's total sales. But what I want to do now is further limit that and look at product. Now, let's suppose um, what I can do is I can press the F3 function key to list those names that I've created. Give me a name list of all the names in the workbook and can you see product is in I can click on OK and select the product out now the product that I want is lip gloss now I don't need to type that in I could actually select a cell that has lip gloss in it and there we go it's given me a value of 56 5683 for what Betsy's done for lip gloss now the sum is function will take 127 criteria range pairs. Criteria range 1, criteria range 1, criteria 1. And we can see that if we scroll down. Can we see? Yeah? It will allow you to put in loads of criteria. So it's kind of, it's not, un, it's not unlimited, but it is quite extensive and it allows you 127. But the first three are obligatory. And remember, whatever you are trying to sum, you must, the column that you're trying to sum, must be put in first. Yes, so I've put in dollars. I'm going to click on OK now and we'll see the result. And I'm just going to change that. I'm going to go to my home ribbon and change that to pounds. Right, click on here and change it to pounds. Right, now I want to, in this second instance of sum ifs, I'm, I want to sum Betty sales where they're over a hundred dollars where she's made more than $100, I want to sum those up. How do I do that? How would I use a sum ifs to do that? Well, actually, I'm going to type it in this time. I'm going to do equals sum ifs 
you know, just some ifs and open my bracket what am I going to add up first always always what am I adding up I'm adding up dollars so I'm going to type in dollars and when I type in dollars do you notice this is this this thing here is formula autocomplete but it's also showing me that this dollars thing down here and that's the named range I create this yellow thing is the named range I create if I double click on it it will allow me to select that so that's the named range and it's put a blue border around the dollars um, range in the spreadsheet to indicate that that is selected my criteria range 1 is gonna be I'm looking for Betsy so I'm gonna type in name and as you can see name is there I just press my down arrow and then tab to it it's easier I don't have to leave the keyboard then and the name is gonna be Betsy but to be honest I'm just gonna click on Betsy's name in a cell so I'm gonna select Betsy's name from B 11, oh actually that's actually B10 actually it's B11 yeah yeah. I'm in that cell and I'm going to do a comma now and go to my next criteria range which is going to be I've got to have a cells over a 100 so I've got to use dollars again that's a criteria even though I'm adding it up dollars so I'm going to type in dollars and I'm going to tab to it and then what I'm going to do is that's the criteria range and I've got to put in a criteria now when it comes to criteria like this I have got to put it in quotes so I'm going to put it speech mark there greater than 100 and then the quote does that make sense has to be in speech marks even the greater than sign has to be enclosed in speech marks and then I'm going to end the actual function so what have we got sum is dollars name B11 is Betsy Betsy where her she's made more than a hundred in her sales sum all those up and I'm gonna press return and we should get a return here she's done 2500 sales where her sales are over a hundred I hope that helps and thanks for watching bye for now